Here we have a Tahatsu 30 horsepower two stroke. Um, this motor actually, um, yeah, it's low on compression on the bottom cylinder and it's, it's quite, it's quite tight. Like I can't, I can't actually turn that with my hand. Um, so I'm going to get into stripping it right down. Um, the bottom spark plug has rust on it, top one doesn't. So I'm assuming, hoping that the bottom cylinder has had water in it and hoping that the crank itself is still in good condition. Not hopeful on that, but I will rip it down and we will see. All right, so part of the way through this strip down, um, I've took, taken all the head bolts out. I try and do that whilst the power head's still on the leg. Um, heat up all of these and try and get them out without snapping any, which I was able to do on this one. Some of them were a bit seized up, but yeah, um, the heat from the blowtorch um, and take your time, you can get them out normally. Um, yeah, so I've started sort of sorting out the parts and putting them in bags and labeling them, but I'm just about to pop this head off and we can have a look inside. see some scuffs and some rust in that lower bore I mean you, you can see some rust coming out that top too so um, I don't know hopefully this cranks okay I'll keep going and fingers crossed on closer inspection of this looks like it is a blown head gasket you see this point here very very uh missing so hopefully that is all it is hopefully this was just allowing water to get into this cylinder and yeah hopefully it's just a rusted bore um those scratches there are actually not that deep they may well hone out um if not i can oversize that and Still hoping that the crank is fine. Um, the head, yeah, that's that point right there. So I reckon, I mean, it's looking like it's just a blown head gasket, which would be fantastic. Now that happens with these guys because um, after a certain amount of time when they're new, you're supposed to re-torque the head bolts um, and I mean, often that never happens. So that's probably due to, yeah, not being retorqued. So I've just taken the front cover off and here's the reed plate. So the moment of truth is under this. Nope, it looks bad. So I can see rust, salt water in here. So that crank is going to be garbage, unfortunately, which is a real shame. Anyway, so it goes. Yeah, so it looks pretty sad. Little end is fully seized in that piston. Um, this one is crunchy. Ad. Bottom bearing, I mean, looks okay, but yeah, this is basically all rubbish. Um, maybe I'd have saved one of the pistons. Um, if it's perfect, the Glock itself, um, I reckon would actually clean up okay. I know it looks disgusting um, here, but all that sort of would mill flat. Um, I have another two of these blocks on my shelf, um, and I'm pretty sure both those cranks are stuffed as well, but I'm going to rip them apart now to see if, fingers crossed, I can find a crank. So this one, I've just pulled the reed cover off. Um, the crank looks really good and clean, no rust or anything like that. Um, the bottom end feels good, but unfortunately, that big end there, you can see, there's a lot of play in it and it's burnt. Um, so I think the only thing I'd be able to get from this engine would probably be the pistons. Um, you'll probably find the blocks okay, um, unless, 
I rebuilt this crank, put a new pin and a new um, rod in. I probably can't use that one, so I'll pull the next one apart and have a look at that. Here's the next one. I haven't pulled this apart yet, but you can see there's an issue. Yeah, I'd say one of the big ends is stuffed on this one as well. Um, be lovely if it was up in the piston end, but I doubt it. Here we yeah. go. This one's got big end issues as well. Bottom one looks fine, but the top again is stuffed. So I'm just about to put all of this into a tub, but yeah, it's very organized. Got all, you know, power head bolts and head bolts, um, bits and pieces all in order. So yeah, I just got to find a crank and I've got enough pistons now. I've checked those other motors um, and one of those blocks is actually better than this one. So I would use that. So yeah, just on the hunt for a crank and yeah, just need some new rings and gasket sets and stuff and then get this guy back together.